What's up, YouTube? Midwest Tool Review here back again. Got a uh, snap-on uh, tool haul, if you will. I guess if you want to call it that. And I picked up some other little odds and ends today from uh, the local pawn shop. So while I move some things out of the way to improve the shot, um, I'll let you guys kind of see what I'm talking about. So different space. I know you guys are typically um, used to me seeing or seeing my toolbox or whatever as a starting uh, shot, but we're going to do it from my workbench today now that I've, I've got it cleaned up. So uh, first things first, I'll kind of start with these here. I talked about in my last video how I picked up the Harbor Freight um, Chrome Molly uh, Pittsburgh brand uh, impacts. So I got these here, uh, 10 through uh, 27, but it does have some skips in there. As you can see there, uh, 19, 21, 22, and 27. But I primarily needed the 21 for working on my truck. So uh, I got these, really happy about that. They are now on a snap-on, one of these older vintage snap-on rails. It says it here somewhere, but got that today, or I got the rail today. Uh, when I was visiting my um, Snap-on dealer who's now retiring here and selling off his collection of tools. Um, picked up this little, uh, what is this, a central pneumatic uh, angled die grinder. Uh, 120 degree angle air die grinder. Picked this up from a local pawn shop, uh, $10 today. I'm in the process of installing the uh, air fitting and getting this guy ready to go, primarily for doing, cleaning up um, rotors and wheels when doing brake jobs. Um, I needed one of these trays. Um, I thought I was gonna be able to use it with this, these sockets here, but come to find out I couldn't. So I'm gonna see what I, how I'm gonna use it. It does have the magnetic strip on there, so that's pretty cool. And I already have one. Got that for free from my Snap-on guy. Picked up a few odds and ends here, a couple picks. Um, obviously they're all snap-on. Um, picked up a couple screwdrivers. Can never go wrong with having um, some of these smaller screwdrivers. Um, let's see here if it had a size on it. Probably does. There you go, there's your part numbers at least. Um, you guys have seen these things a half a dozen times, but uh, for me, I just picked up a couple more. I know I have some. Um, in my box, at least I think I do. Let me take a look and see. Uh, I believe I do. Got some ticks and screwdrivers and others. Let's see here. I'll show you guys. So I've got um, some of these other screwdrivers there in my box and um, a couple picks and things of that nature. So just kind of adding to it. I think. Which one is it? I was trying to see, like this one here. I was trying to compare the, so yeah, one must be a one and a two or a two and a three, something like that. So I got a lot of these little screwdrivers, flatheads and things of that nature. So I'm pretty cool about that. Kind of rounds it out. I don't think I need any more of those. Um, picked up this uh, Blue Point uh, bit driver. Uh, it's older. Um, doesn't feel like it's high quality, but you know, um, pick this guy up for like five bucks. It does have all the bits, including like a quarter inch drive um, socket bit there too. So that's pretty cool. Throw that in the box. Uh, another rail over there. I use this pieces off this snap on rail. As you can see there, it says snap on, which is kind of cool. I mean, these things are always flimsy anyway, but at least it is a snap on. Uh, so I took some of the slides off there and put it on this to make a complete rail. Uh, got this here, which I'm most proud about. I initially found the, the shaft here, the handle, and I did have the screw there, but I didn't have a head. And he sold so much stuff now. It's amazing how many ratchets. I mean, if you remember my box, I've got 18 or 19 in there, and pretty much all of those came from him with the exception of maybe two or three. Um, 
But yeah, so at least 12 or 13 of those came from him. But um, he found me a head and just threw it in there. So I got the shaft and the, the whole setup here for $20. And the part number here is FHBF80, USA made. Um, works perfectly well. So that gets added to my collection of snap-on ratchets. And I needed a half inch ratchet, needed and wanted one. So this is an older one, and I love that um, vintage um, uh, piece there, plate there, what do you want to call it? Um, but this is S710, and it does have the little E mark, which I believe was like a dealer's tool or something like that, um, but or demonstration model. Uh, but this is in fairly good condition for his age. I believe the 710 series is fairly old. Um, but yeah, I got this here and uh, I'm going to contact Snap-on, get the replacement kit, rebuild kit for this. Uh, and then I'll have a perfectly good half-inch drive Snap-on ratchet, lifetime guarantee. Uh, also got a magnetizer, demagnetizer. It's a Snap-on Bluepoint. Um, so that's pretty cool. I never had one of these. Don't know that I necessarily need it, but he threw that in for free. And then lastly, um, I got this Mac. He's a Snap-on guy, but people trade things in. So he had this Mac, and he's got several other ones there still. And I may go back and get another one here. <clears throat> but I got this uh, Click-Type torque wrench. Now, I don't have any torque wrenches whatsoever. And it does say Mac USA on there. And it's in uh, foot-pounds as well as newton meters. So it goes all the way up to, looks like 100 foot pounds, which is pretty cool. Um, and I needed one of these here, so it works really well. And it was just simply a trade-in for a um, the uh, digital ones that you know, Snap-on offers, but works really well, so nice and clean. And I finally got myself a torque wrench, so I'm really um, ecstatic about that. As I, like I said, I didn't own one, and I've been eyeing some of the Harbor Freight, but glad to have this one instead um, so that'd be cool so yeah all in all i think it's a fairly decent haul um 60 <laughs> so i mean you can't go wrong the tor torque wrench you gave me for 10 dollars, by the way so um yeah this is right here in fort wayne indiana his name is jerry if you guys are interested let me know in the comment section i'll get you his contact information he does have toolboxes he has tool carts tons of snap-on memorabilia um, also got something else too. Um, grab it off my snap-on shelf here. I got a shelf with the snap-on gadgets, but it's a little uh, quarter-inch dry. But it, what it is is an ink pen, and you guys probably can't see that. But yeah, I'm trying to get it functional. Um, but let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. And see, it's, it comes out, and uh, yes, yeah, a little snap-on ink pen. Uh, um, built like the uh, TL-72, so that's pretty cool. So, um, and it is metal construction. I almost feel like you can use it. So I got that for free as well. But yeah, just a nice little snap-on tool haul here, you know, a um, couple things to kind of add to the collection. Um, I am now looking for, you know, I said I got some more projects. I got some things I need to restore. Um, I'll show you a couple things I'm gonna restore here and kind of get you guys opinion about it as well. So um, the first thing I'll show you guys, if I can find it. Hang on a second, go over here and grab it. So the first thing we're gonna clean up and get going, uh, he gave me this, it's an IMI 51, I think it's IMI 51A. Yeah, so, um, we're gonna clean this guy this guy up. I tested it out the other day. It works really well. Um, we're gonna clean it up. I'm gonna do a rebuild kit on it and rebuild the internals. Um, I, I've got three of these now. He gave me three of them. And I also have a ratchet, a blue point air ratchet that I need to see um, if I can get that guy working. But this guy works really good. Um, but I got three of those from him for free. Um, we're also gonna restore um, my Wilton um, vise, we're gonna do that. 
Um, and one of my big projects that I'm probably going to do later in the year is this big girl here. So I'm going to completely restore this guy here. It's a tremo, a tremo. And we're going to restore this guy. And this is huge. Um, but it works. It's all there. Um, we're going to restore this girl too. So uh, i got a couple good rusty projects laying around the shop that I think are going to be great uh, content for you guys. Hopefully you'll like it. Um, I got this old one here. I don't even know what this is. Maybe it's a snap-on. Maybe it's not. Let's see. It's so dirty. I don't even know. I think it's a snap-on. But um, we'd have to almost cut the boot off to see what the hell it is under there. Let me see if I can get a screwdriver and we can both be surprised. <clears throat> so, yeah, so many projects that are going on. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. But, uh, so many projects that are going to be going on this year. See if we can get our content up. Um, oh, there you go. No point in having a channel if we're not putting out content for you guys. That's my opinion. Hopefully I'm not scratching it up too much, but I don't like this boot anyway. So we're just going to mix that. So there we go. This is a blue point. I didn't know that. I thought it was a snap-on. AT500B. You guys tell me. I don't know. Maybe it's a POS. But maybe it's worth restoring, but um, we're going to restore it and see. Sounds kind of loose in there, but it's going to give us some content. Uh, like I said, we got an air ratchet we're going to do, a couple of those other um, tools. We're going to restore the uh, pipe vise. Uh, we've got a Wilton vise. Let's see if I can show you guys that without dropping the camera. We've got a Wilton vise down there on the floor. We're going to restore that um, that we picked up from a buddy of mine at work. But yeah, lots of good content, lots of good things that you guys can see. Um, we got a couple of ratchets we're gonna restore as well. So, I don't know, we've got at least four, five, six videos of different things we're gonna put out this year with some editable content um, to kind of change it up a bit. But yeah, this is my Snap-on haul for this weekend. Um, I'm all tapped out. Uh, I no more, I'm not spending any more, I don't think for a little while. Um, but yeah, I think this is pretty good. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you like the video. Leave me a comment. If you like the content, please, by all means, subscribe to the channel. Um, I love you guys' content or uh, comments and whatnot. Uh, and this is what I like to do. So once again, like I said, you're not going to always be able to go out and find, um, super deals like this where you can pick up a, a hundred dollar ratchet i went on today this thing was like a hundred bucks or 115 on ebay um as a buy it now price and it ranged from 115 or whatever all the way up to like 200 and something but whatever but let's say a hundred dollar bill you're not gonna always be able to go out and find a hundred dollar ratchet for 20 bucks um and if you can then you why would you ever buy uh, a craftsman or a gear wrench or something like that when you can go and get the very best ratchets that are out there in the market There's a reason why Harbor Freight came out with icons because they're trying to capture some of that that snap-on business. So um, Yeah, that's what I do. I you know luckily enough I got a snap-on guy that I can run to and I can pick up things like this For pennies on a dollar right now, but he's retiring. So he's trying to be done with this. So I'm going to grab as much as I possibly can, including potentially getting the toolbox from him as well. He's got a toolbox that was traded in. Um, it's rough shape. He's going to give me all new slides and all that stuff for it. It's going to require being repainted um, or potentially even wrapped. So he knows about the channel. He wants to support the channel. Um, so we're going to work out a deal on that toolbox. Um, it's huge. I mean, it's, it's much bigger than anything I've ever had before. Um, and an awesome price. Let's just say it's well below a thousand dollars But it needs some work. So that's gonna be another project that you guys will get to tune in So I'm telling you man if you like my channel you like what I'm putting out uh, By all means subscribe. I don't make anything off this. I don't have a patreon account 
Um, I don't ask you guys to send me tools, although if you want to, you can, but I don't ask you guys to send me anything. Um, I don't ask for any type of monetary compensation. So everything that I buy is out of my own pocket um, that me and my um, my wife buy um, for my hobby. So um, I just like for you guys to be a part of the video and show me that you like what I'm putting out. So that's what I get from it. But all right, I'm out of here. Um, I'm going to go watch some YouTube videos right now myself with some toolbox tours. Check out a couple of channels, Coon Trucking, Jay, uh, Jay Young, a um, couple of the different channels I've been following here lately. But let me know what you guys think and uh, catch me in the next one. All right, I'm out.